Wow, this is harder than I thought. When you're saying that one race of people is better than another. I would say, I guess someone judging each other because of the color of their skin or what race they come from in general. Technically, race isn't a thing scientifically. It's not a thing, it's just something that like, it's basically just a culture that Americans came up with and they use that as an ex well I think they just like people use it as an excuse to like make jokes or like to put other people down about something because of their race or if they're discriminating against someone because of their um, skin color their skin color or something people making inappropriate jokes people um, making comments based on stereotypes making uh, racial epithets that kind of thing but I think another part of racism is kind of uh, power and privilege and advantages for people in a dominant group um, that people might not even realize they have. For me, the definition of racism is when you discriminate against someone not only because of their color of skin or their skin color, but their, their religion or their heritage. This girl comes up and she says, oh, aren't you black? You should have dreadlocks. So I kind of stood up for her and we went and told the teacher the girl got um, suspended from school. Like this white kid, he told me that he wants to like burn all the black people and that was like not cool. And I got really mad. Um, I talked to him and I told him that I was like, how would it feel if I said that I would like want to burn all the white kids? And he said, he said that's a different reason because black, black kids and black guys are not as good as white people. And I told him like, it's like we're the same people, like we're all humans. I was talking about like where I lived or like who my neighbor was and then some kid was just like, oh, is that like ghetto brook and I got like really upset about it. I told him that it wasn't funny and that I just thought it was rude and that he doesn't really live there and I guess it well it's not exactly ghetto but it's not exactly a place where I want to live in but I can't control that so I'm just kind of used to it and you're like offending somewhere where I been living for like a while. There's always there's always like well, at least one or two people that come up to me and ask me like where I'm from and what's my race and it's really annoying and I I take really I'm really offended by it because it's my personal life and you don't really have the right to ask me those questions unless like I come up to you and I bring up the subject. Like people expect me to act Latina when like, people always say, like, oh, you're acting so white. I think racism exists everywhere in society, and it has definitely happened at JFK. I've never witnessed it in person. I just heard that, oh, someone was being bullied or something. Saying that racism was a joke, I think that might just be a cover-up for the actual thing. It's rare that anything is done towards me. So I can say I've observed it, but personally I haven't experienced it. Everybody who's a person of color experiences racism systematically, as in like how the government installs rules against us and how media portrays us. I usually just sit there, I report it most of the time, or if it gets on my nerves a lot, like I'll go up to them and then I'll say something to them and tell them that it's wrong and they shouldn't be talking about it. If it hurts their feelings, then tell like an adult or something and that person can be can be addressed about the problem. Well, this video is a good example. Um, understanding that the world is filled with differences among people and respecting those differences and appreciating those differences. Make it like more of a serious topic. Probably in general just raise awareness and probably just make people of different races feel more comfortable in general at JFK. Being involved in SOCA, having the types of conversations that you're having in your group about what is racism, how, is it, uh, how does it present itself in society, how does it present itself in our school, 
what can we do about it when we see it, making the, these types of educational videos like you're doing. I think that is a, a great thing to be doing uh, to fight racism. You process, you speak with other, generally you speak with other white students about the responsibility of being a white person in such a divided society where so much um, hatred and unfairness still exists. Most um, pictures saying that like that's that's wrong. If somebody is like starting an argument like that, just like tell them to stop. Stand up for everyone, no matter what skin color. Help fight for equal rights. Don't walk away from a racist joke or comment. Never let anyone tell you that racism is not a problem or is a joke.